Howdy, Tumbleweed here. Hopefully, I've tempted you enough with my previous video that you've pre-ordered your copy of Nicholas Dunn, The Making of a Texas Legend. Now, in my next couple of videos, I plan to share some excerpts from the book. Building a life on the frontier was an uncertain and quite dangerous business. Perhaps that hasn't changed so much as when we toured the King Ranch a couple of years back and there were signs warning visitors to look out for rattlesnakes. The dangers haven't changed all that much. Come to think of it, you ever eaten rattlesnake? The meat is actually quite delicious. A delicacy, if you will. Speaking of rattlesnakes, I'm pleased to share an episode from Nicholas Dunn's biography. Now, as you're going to see from Nick's excerpt, writing in the first person, well, it personalizes Dunn's story while capturing, in this case, one of the dangers lurking on the Texas prairies. Now, get your mind wrapped around being a drover on a trail drive. You're caked with trail dust, dead tired. You could sleep on a pile of rocks. Dunn describes an incident he faced upon wakening after a well-earned sleep. Speaking of rattlesnakes, an incident I faced with a rattler was just a bit unnerving. I woke up one morning, my head propped against my saddle and spied a rattler to my left, not more than five, maybe six feet away. That snake had been slithering along, pretty much minding its own business when it spied me. There he sat, looking at me through those squinty snake eyes. The morning sun reflected from his long, scaly body as he began to coil himself. I judged him at about six feet of pure venom. Dang, but he looked to be the very embodiment of evil. Why, little wonder a snake was chosen to wreak evil in the Garden of Eden. My right hand slowly wrapped around my walker coat, and I eased it very slowly up across my chest. But this time, the rattler had been taking further note, and was deciding whether to fight or maybe escape. I'm not sure what goes through a rattlesnake's brain, but I doubt that it was anything good. To make it all complicated, my vaquero friend, Jorge, well, was about 10 feet on the other side of the snake. If I was to shoot, I'd have to be specially accurate so as not to hit Jorge. A bead of sweat found its way into my eye. I squinted as the salt stung it. A shard of morning sunlight exploded on my gun barrel, startling the snake. In the span of maybe five seconds, the rattler raised its head, started its warning rattle, and I squeezed the trigger. The bullet? <laughs> so, here's where I turn into a nasty tease. You'll have to fi buy your copy of Dunn's biography to find out what happened to the snake and whether Jorge survived unscathed. I urge you to experience a slice of the life of a true Texan by purchasing your copy of Nicholas Dunn, The Making of a Texas Legend when it is released by Defiance Press and Publishing on December 22nd. It will be available online in print, audio, or ebook from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and directly from my publisher at defiancepress.com. It would make a great Christmas gift. You all also just might want to read or listen to my first three tumbleweed sagas, Noasis Justice, Noasis Reprise, and Noasis Deceit. And my fourth tumbleweed saga, Noasis Blood, is due to come out and come February. So as the weather cools, curl up in an easy chair and let your imagination come alive with this biography of Nicholas Dunn. Get inspired. If you're feeling adventurous, go online. Order up some rattlesnake. Meanwhile, thanks, and y'all do take care now.